First Division finals get underway at Rosebud, which is a magnificent finals venue on Saturday. And talking of Rosebud, Nick Jewell, the coach of Rosebud, did a great job to get his team uh, close to the finals this year. Yeah. But he'll join me, Dan Lonigan, in commentary on Saturday afternoon for the qualifying final. And Dramana, who've got the wood over the reigning Premier's Pines, who dropped three of their last four coming into the finals. You give Dramana a very, very good chance of beating the Pines. The Pines, they did rest a lot of players for their match against... Sorrento last week and were well beaten. They'll get most of those players back. It should be an interesting affair. Now, we were lucky enough to go to Pines and we were there at training during the week. And uh, we got a, I thought, a reasonable sense that the team felt pretty confident that they could finally get one back on Dramana this year. Here's what they had to say. Yeah, well, we've had a lot of injuries as of now and we're getting a lot back now. So hopefully we can regain our form and smash it. You're playing a team you haven't beaten all year. How do you beat them, Dramana? Don't do what we did the last two times, I guess. Just change it up a little. You think you can? Yeah, I think we can. Yeah, a lot of work to be done. It's another tight year, which is great. Uh, we, it's final time. We love this time of year, so looking forward to it, Dan. Not very happy with this man. His new show is absolutely killing it on the morning. The Peninsula, live and loose with Paddy and the Goose. Paul Wilson hosting it. You haven't got me on the show yet, Paddy. Why not? We're, we're waiting for you to get there. We're waiting for the big games. The big games. We're just going to unleash you for finals. That's what we'll do. Unleash you for finals, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> And Dramani, you just haven't been able to beat them this year. Uh, you've obviously been working hard to try and find a way. How do you find a way? Yeah, well, they're a bloody good side, aren't they? Mm. Really good side. Um, and they, they've they got um, so much speed on the outside. And uh, they, I watched them last week against uh, Mornington. I think they were just sort of had the queue in the rack. They didn't do anything different. They just... Had a few out too. Yes. Yeah, I think they had Cosson and Garn and Johnson and... Uh, who's, who's about Holmes. Six, yeah, Holmes. And um, there was another fellow out there. Gertz. Gertz. Gertz is one. Geez, you know your stuff, don't you? Yes, I, I do. So that's half their team. That's why I should be on your show. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, and you got the humour. That's what we need. <laughs> We need the humour. I'm a funny man, Paddy, you know yeah, that. Exactly, you are. Yeah, you'll, you'll be right. You'll be right. You'll get on. Yeah, so they, they, they're the few out. So, um, yeah, they're rocking second gear last week, and I think it'll ramp up this week. In the reserves, Edith Val Aspendale meet Mount Eliza. A little bit of a, a quirk of fate here because they both played each other in the final home and away game, and in a bit of a shock result at Regent's Park at Edith Val Aspendale, the Eagles managed to win a low scoring game, so that'll give them some confidence against Mount Eliza, who, as we know, seem to win reserves premierships for fun. That should be a fascinating game. And in the under-19s, Franks and YCW, a very strong under-19 team against a much improved under-19 team in Bond Beach. So a big day of footy. We look forward to your company on Game Face on Saturday afternoon with Dan Lonigan and Nick Jewell. May the best teams win and get your Game Face on. Get your Game Face on.